Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new PowerMig 220 AC-DC by Lincoln. So, just got my demo unit in. Um, in this video, we're going to go over its features, its functions, how to screen, how to set everything up. We're going to TIG weld aluminum with it today. Um, got my foot pedal, my TIG torch all set up. But uh, first, let's just dive right into all the specs on this thing. So, this is new to the market. It's an AC-DC machine, 220 amp output, uh, 110, 220. So on 110 at 90 amps, we have 100% duty cycle, and then on 220 at 130 amps, we have 100% duty cycle. So pretty awesome duty cycle coming out of this machine. I got it plugged in the uh, 220 today. I'm going to be running on 8 inch aluminum, so I just want to bump it up a little bit and see if we can run it. But all in all, just taking it out of the box, looking at the machine, it is very nice. The screen is very, very big. I'll power it up here in a second. It's 51 pounds, so it's fairly light. Uh, we got the inside, so this thing does MIG, TIG, stick, pulse TIG, and then obviously you can run inner shield as well. So on the inside of the door here, we got our little parameter chart here. So if you don't, you're new to welding, uh, it's very nice to reference all that. So whatever process you're doing, you just go over, find out what material thickness and what amperage to set it at. Then on the inside, it does come with a one pound spool L56, but it does fit an 11 pound spool. And then we have our drive roll feeder system here. Uh, you just unscrew these and that's where your drive rolls are at. The gun plugs in the front. So nice aluminum cast, aluminum power block on this unit. Uh, not some cheap plastic uh, that you see in some other competitors, but very nice, very robust, very similar to other Lincoln power MIGs that you see. Um, shut the door here. Got the MIG gun here. Uh, it's a 175L, so it's a very nice gun. Feels good in the hand, ergonomic. Um, all the P100 consumables there, so very in, easy to get, um, all in stock. But yeah, the gun's really nice, like that a lot. Um, so the TIG torch it comes with, it comes with a consumable kit here. Uh, so 040 tungsten all the way up to 332 tungsten. This thing will run 8 inch tungsten too, just it didn't come with it in the kit. Um, it's got, a, I guess, a WP17 with a big gas lens in it. I got a number eight cup on there with a 332nd tungsten in there. Um, it is, it does come with a flex head TIG torch too, which is new to this product, which is awesome. Uh, we get a lot of questions on people wanting to swap over to flex heads. Well, this one comes with it. So pretty nice, comes with a sheath on it already. You can see that, very nice sheath, uh, nice braided line. So, man, it looks, looks really nice. Comes with a foot pedal. Uh, you can see I got her plugged in here to the Amphenol connector. And then it comes with an extension for your foot too. So you got to put this on. It's not very hard to put on. It just clicks in two different buttons. You just push in on those and then it'll pop right on there. Uh, but it is nice for your foot. It beats the, the other, I mean the foot pedal is not that big. You can see the extension comes out. So it is very, very nice to put your whole foot on the pedal and rock back and forth. Pretty sweet. Um, but all in all, this machine's pretty sweet. I'm going to power it up. So on the back, we've got the power button. There's two gas ports on the back, one for MIG, one for TIG. Uh, and obviously, we've got a split adapter there. So as we power it up, it says Lincoln Electric. You have to think about it for a second here. But big screen, 7 inch LCD display, all color. Awesome little machine. So if we go down the menu, hit our process select. So and this is your toggle between them all. So we got GMAW or MIG, FCAW, so self shielded flux core, stick, 7018 and 6010. This thing will run 6010. And then we got GTAW TIG, um, AC DC with pulse capability, and we have our systems menu. Pretty awesome. I'll just walk you through the setup here. We're gonna TIG weld. So it's going to ask you guided setup or manual. So if you go to manual or you hit skip, right, you could just set whatever amperage you want and do whatever you want on that. But we're just going to, I'm going to show you guided setup because it's pretty cool. So it walks you through everything. So you got high freak DC, high freak AC, touch start DC, and touch start AC. So you can turn the high frequency off. We're going to run it today. We're going to run AC for aluminum. Then our pulse capability, on off. I'm gonna turn it off, we're not gonna pulse today, but still pretty awesome that it has that capability. We're gonna run aluminum. Tungsten size, so you pick whatever tungsten you want there. I got 332nd, 100% argon. And it gives you material thickness, so 18 gauge, 
all the way up to 3 16 So we're going to go 12 gauge because we got 8th inch. It's pretty close to that. Check our polarity. We got it hooked up correctly. There we go. So you can see it gives us our recommended 120 amps, 90 hertz on our frequency, and our balance is at 70. If I want to change that anyway, I just go well mold settings here. Go over to the menu button here. Then I can change my process again, or I can change my AC frequency. I can change my balance, my post or pre-flow, I'm sorry. Uh, start and end settings, so like crater fill or whatever you guys want to do on that. System menu, and then it has memory. So we can save our favorite settings if we like them for a job that we're doing. I'll just show you real quick here on the AC frequency. So down the 50 all the way up to 200. So 200 hertz on the AC frequency. If you guys aren't familiar with TIG welding aluminum, the frequency changes the, the arc performance and the arc characteristic, but 90 is what recommend. it's recommended. We're gonna try that. Uh, usually I run about 120 on that, but I mean, we're gonna try 90. That's what it said preset. And then our balance all the way up to 90, all the way down to 60. So that's our cleaning action, our cleaning function on the AC. Um, then we got our post flow, so everything else looks good. We can go back. There we go. And then we got it set up for 120 amps. Everything's set up. Now I just did the guided setup. Super easy to do. You can see nice big display. Easy to see. Um, awesome little machine. Uh, we're gonna see how it performs welding wise. Um, like I said, I got that number eight cup. I'm gonna give it a shot here. All right. So I got got my aluminum. Got my filler rod here. Um, that's just some 6,000 series aluminum. We'll see how it runs on there. Uh, got my argon hooked up. Let's run it and see how it's done. Pretty nice. Um, laid a good bead. Everything went out nice. Heated up quick. Um, throwing 120 amps at that piece, so that's, that's quite a bit, but yeah, really good. I like the TIG torch. Um, super nice. Like I said, it flexes too, so if you got to like, hold it a little bit different and flex with it, it's pretty awesome. Um, nice feature to have on that. So let me show you something real quick on the front of the machine here, too. On the, so, say we wanted to switch tungsten size or just change anything. What we could do is we can change it right on the front. So I can go pulse settings, I can turn on pulse, I can change my wire type, I can change my tungsten size. Right? So you go into that. I mean obviously I'm around 3 second, but you could just change it on the fly and then you can keep the same settings. You don't have to go back and go through each one of the things to do it. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So let me just real quick, we'll go in the process select here. And I'll show you guys real quick how to say we are going to MIG weld. We'll just do the guided setup, see what it comes up with. So we'll go steel, stainless steel, aluminum, 5000, 4000 series. We'll go steel. And then you pick two gases or 9010. We'll go 7525. And then you pick the wire diameter. We'll go 035. So plate thickness, half in, all the way up to half inch, 3 eighths, 5 6 eight quarter, all the way down to 18 gauge. That's pretty sweet, all the way up to half inch. Let's just see what it does. We'll put it on 3 eighths. Confirm that. So look at that, 400 inches, 450 inches a minute, 21 volts. Now I can adjust those outside of the recommended parameter. You can see it'll give us a picture depicting what happens to our bead. When we change that, and it's a synergic line, so you can see my voltage is changing as my wire feed is dropping. And then we bump that back up. It's a pretty sweet, and it's giving us 21 volts. That's pretty awesome. It goes back into that screen. And there again, I can change my stuff there. If I change gas, wire diameter, plate thickness. So if I'm going thin plate, thick plate, I can just change that. And bump it down to, let's just say, 10 gauge. And then 
point of just your recommended settings. So, like I said, though, if you go outside those recommended parameters, you can just go and close that menu, and then you can just get outside of those. And as you turn it up, you can see what happens. The picture shows what happens when you turn it up, turn it down. Pretty sweet. Um, all in all, really nice machine. The, the, it's very simple to use, very simple to set up. I mean, it, it, and it obviously it welded AC really, really well. So that was one of the biggest things. These guys didn't have one out. Now they do, and, that, and it welds. It's a very crisp bark. That I like it. It's very, very nice. Um, it's actually very small, compact. Run off a generator. Got a good duty cycle. And I know a lot of people that buy these multi-process units, a lot of home hobby guys, light fabrication, they want to be able to do aluminum. They want to be able to do mixed steel. And then occasionally they stick ball with them, which is awesome. And this thing will do 6010, which is awesome because everyone wants to run 6010. It'll run 7018, obviously, as well. No, I like the machine. Super nice for just running it just a little bit. Very, very nice. It welds aluminum great. Um, if you guys got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned.